Tomorrow, Yukon will take on Wait for Wake Forest at the rent in East Hartford, and the weather is looking spectacular. If you're tailgating, this is your first alert to maybe keep a jacket nearby in the morning. 8 o'clock in the morning, we're still in the upper 30s in some communities, but by kickoff at noon, 62 degrees, and we'll end the day in the lower 70s. You certainly want to keep the sun uh, glasses nearby, too, since we're expecting full sunshine the entire day. Across the northwest and northeast hills of the state, there could be a few upper 60s, and given the switch to an onshore wind tomorrow afternoon, we'll likely see mid and upper 60s along the 95 corridor. Winds start off calm, but as the day progresses, our wind will gradually shift to be southwesterly, and there's that onshore component that will uh, keep shoreline towns just a bit cooler. It's all courtesy of this area of high pressure. First Lord Futurecast showing it in control for the next couple of days right through the weekend, and on the backside of that high, uh, we see clockwise flow around high pressure. That will shift our wind to be west-southwest uh, for the second half of the weekend, pushing temperatures even higher. Right now, we can see some of that warmth building through the central part of the United States. Throughout the plains, temperatures are between, uh, say, 70 and 75, even a little bit warmer in some locations. And all of that air will gradually build into southern New England, especially once we get into the start of next week. Even tonight, uh, temperatures up quite a bit from where they were last night. Our eye can view right now in Middletown showing blue skies outside, not a cloud in the sky. Temperatures going from 64 at 5 o'clock to 55 by 7 o'clock, and they will drop a bit more thereafter. You can always get a, a forecast like this right in the palm of your hand from the free WFSP weather app. Our eye cam view in New Haven, 69 right now. There's a sleeping giant in the background. Wind out of the northeast at 12 miles an hour sustained. Connecticut's only live radar scanning clear and dry for yet another day. And we are beginning to see more leaf drop across the state. Some of those chillier nights having a bit of an impact there, plus the breezy conditions we saw earlier this week. So if you want to get out and do some yard work tomorrow, it looks great for the entire day. Just note that there could be just a little bit of patchy frost in the hills uh, tomorrow as we begin the day in the mid and upper 30s inland. The foliage report across Connecticut looking great though. Mid, medium rather to high levels of color statewide outside of the 95 corridor where low color is still being reported. And if you want to see peak foliage, you do not have to travel far. The Berkshires of western Massachusetts into the Catskills and Adirondacks. Some of the high peaks of northern New England are already past peak foliage. The tropics right now still two disturbances being monitored. One near the Leeward Islands here. Low chance of formation in the next week. But uh, this is the biggest change here. Now a high chance for this disturbance near Central America. So we'll be watching that very closely and we'll be the first to alert you should that become named. Tonight, temperatures mid and upper 30s inland, uh, low 40s along the shoreline. Clear skies on the way. Tomorrow, full sunshine. Sunday, full sunshine. Monday, 78 degrees inland. The record for the Hartford area is 82. On Tuesday, we're also forecasting upper 70s inland along the shoreline. But just a bit cooler. 71 on Sunday, 75 on Monday, 73 on Tuesday. Wednesday next week, still in the low to mid 70s. We start Thursday off with a chance and some showers in the morning, drying out in the afternoon. Kara, we do expect temperatures to drop by the end of next week behind that front, but they'll drop to where we typically would be this time of year, into the upper 50s.